Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about how to pace your interview, whether it's a, a phone interview or on-site interview or a group interview. Uh, you need to use your time efficiently so your interview looks smoother and you can convince your interviewer that what you say is actually what you know. Uh, one of the first thing I would say is doesn't matter what kind of interview you go to, it's very important to prepare for it. We need to prepare. We need to understand how we're going to answer certain things. And it could be uh, a generic preparation or a company specific preparation. But regardless, you need to prepare something. Now, first, let's look at some fact. Uh, so you would know bef when you go for an interview, you would know um, how much time you have. Uh, if it's a, a panel interview, where you have multiple people, you would need to know how many people uh, are going to be in the interview, how long the overall interview is, and how many people you're going to talk to. But you need to know the, this in advance, so then you can prepare for it. Uh, if, if you don't know, you should need to ask this information. And you also need to find out who these people are, their names, possibly. The second fact is, uh, each interviewer uh, would have a set of questions that they usually ask. They might ask some additional questions uh, based on how fast you answer them, or uh, they might feel like, okay, this guy know this much, so I'm gonna ask you a little bit more on this, right? But usually they would have a fixed set of questions, and that's a fact. And the third uh, important fact is, if they are actively interviewing, which means they have interviewed a few people before you, they are probably asking the same question uh, to every one of these candidates and they will compare your answers their answers and they also will compare them at the pace they the, the other people have answered uh, to the pace uh, which you are answering and so they are mindful of this information and often they would make the judgment based on that factor and the fourth fact is psychology plays a huge part in this uh, interview game it's not what you say, it's how you say it matters the most. If they don't like the way you talk, uh, if you, they don't like the confidence, then they would, even if you answer correctly, they would have a, some sort of a negative image. Uh, the hesitation and all that stuff kind of adds up in their head. Uh, it's like a counter going in the head, like a positive, positive, oh, negative, 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 positive, positive. And ultimately they will come up with a score and that depends on uh, differently on by person to person and since ultimately the decision is in their hand uh, it's important to know the game to play the game so let's strategize this once you make a strategy follow the strategy uh, don't just go away from it uh, you can make tweaks to it but always follow the strategy all right so let's start from the beginning when you go for an interview, the one of the first thing people would ask you is your job history. Even though they have read your resume and all of that, they might just simply say, can you summarize uh, your uh, work history and what, what you have done so far and what are you are doing? A lot of people start from the beginning. Uh, they would say, when I was 18 years old, I started at this place and I did this and I did that and all that stuff, right? Um, basically create a longer story just to waste some time. You need to remember this, that they're not asking for your life story. They are not interested in what you did like 10 years ago. They're gonna hire you for something that you know recently or something you have done recently. They are looking for your skills and you wanna show relevant skills. And so the best thing to do is start from the recent experience. Keep it simple, only relevant information. Avoid saying things like, I did this, this was my duty, all of that. Rather than focus on the achievement, I achieved this, I own this, I um, accomplished this. So summarize everything nicely and only focus on relevant information. So it's not too short, it's just the right amount. If there is time, say something about a few previous jobs and then summarize it even more on those space if it's if it's not relevant you can say okay you know for past five years I did this and before that I was doing this and this so they get some idea of where you're coming from uh, but you don't need to give too much detail on those previous jobs so for example if you are applying for a salesman job 
and you used to be a taxi driver, uh, focus on a salesman uh, experience and summarize a taxi driver. They don't need to know how long you used to drive, how many hours you used to drive, where you used to go. All of this information is not needed. It also shows that uh, they are looking for somebody who listens carefully, a good communicator, which is very important. They are looking for your skills, but they're also looking for somebody who listens well. So when they ask you about your job, they're expecting the recent job and recent experience. And if you convey that, then you already get some good points in their mind. If somebody asks you a question and if you take too much time, in your mind, you must be like, oh yeah, I wasted a lot of time. And so they'll ask me less questions. And this way I have a, a less probability of screwing things up, right? Uh, it's, it's completely incorrect. As I said, the first fact is they have a set of questions that they want to ask. So let's say they have, they usually ask four questions to each candidate, but let's say most of the candidate answer four questions. And with you, you waste a lot of time upfront in telling your history and every question you took longer, then they can only ask three questions. Uh, that doesn't mean that you won. That means they, they are mindful that, oh, this guy is slower than the other candidates. Okay, so now how to pace each question. So let's say you are given a question. Uh, there are two kinds of interview. One who would ask you a little bit of an abstract question, too generic, right? And then there are some people who would ask you, to the point question, exactly what they're looking for. So the first kind, when they ask you a little bit of more generic, uh, then you need to first of all confirm what kind of answer the interview you're looking for. And let's say somebody asks you, uh, what is the class in Java? If you go for like a Java interview, uh, you, it's too, too broad of a question. So you can say, oh, are you, are you talking about how the classes work in a Java, Java or uh, are you looking for a specific example of Java? Uh, and then the interviewer would say, oh yeah, I'm looking for this. And then narrow it down to that specific question that you can answer. Then I would pause and I would say, okay, uh, let me think. Um, and then you literally think about how you're gonna answer this. This actually shows your command on communication that you actually uh, strategically look at things. I know people who would, as soon as a interviewer asks a question, they would just jump out and start blurbing out. Oh yeah, I know the class is this, 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 and it does this, 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 and I used to write this, and you know, five years ago I used to write this, and they just tell a long story of it. That automatically creates a negative image in the interviewer's head. And don't answer until you actually know what you're gonna answer, at least overall uh, the theme of what you're gonna answer because that would give you a little bit of structure. A lot of people, what they do, as soon as somebody asks the question, they will, whatever the first thing that comes in their head, they just start saying, and then they don't know what to say next, so they might, might say something randomly, and by then you are already in a wrong path, and you have to retract it, and then you come back and you say something else, and then, you know, it's just like a struggle. And even though you know this subject very well, because of this nervousness, you would just make it worse. And it looks like you don't know anything about it and just randomly trying to figure it out. A lot of people jump from topic to topic. If I ask you about the classes, they might jump to something else uh, and then something else. And an interview would let you talk sometime. They might cut you off because they might think you're wrong, going wrong. But some interviewer just let you talk even, and then you might think that, oh, you're, you are doing right uh, thing, right? But inside their head, they're actually uh, creating a negative image. I think look at, look at your interviewer, understand if this is what they are looking for, because they would give you some hint on their face uh, that this is what they want. And opposite to that, there are, there are interviewees who don't talk much. Their answers are very short. Uh, sometimes yes and no, they don't explain things very well, uh, which is completely different than the people who just rambles, right? So I've had a one guy who came for an interview and he would simply, you know, if I ask uh, him something long and he would say, yeah, yeah, I've done this, that's it. And then if I say, okay, can you explain what you did? I say, ah, oh, I wrote something. And his answer was so brief, I was so frustrated that 
uh, I kind of ran out to follow the question because within 15, first 15 minutes, I asked him everything and I did not get any concrete answer. I just got some, yes, I did this and very short answers, no explanation whatsoever. So I could not really gauge if he knew what he's talking about. I also felt that even if he knew this, his communication skills are really bad. And if this person works here, uh, I would have really hard time if I ask you him something to do. And if this is how he's going to talk, then I don't want to hire him. So, so in nutshell, when somebody asks, confirm the question, uh, ask follow up question to understand exactly what you need to answer, then uh, take some time to think structure in your head what you're going to answer uh, then start answering and if you feel like you are going in a wrong direction keep confirming uh, okay so this is how this is what you need it right uh, and if the interviewer happy just keep going but don't use too much time you need to cut off somewhere uh, and let the interviewer take it from there and at the end of every interview or before the end the interviewer would ask you do you have any questions for me uh, basically they're you know it's it's an interview for both sides you are they are interviewing you and you are actually interviewing the company because it's your choice as well it's not only their decision a lot of people uh, just say no I don't have any question uh, I would say that is a wrong thing before you go for an interview understand the business of the company understand what they do their competitors and all that uh, just do a little bit of study about the company and ask few questions related to that. Like, what is the culture here? Uh, I noticed that you, this is the product, how you guys do it. This is an opportunity for you to ask questions and try to get some information as well. Uh, so for example, I usually ask every uh, interviewer, uh, how do you feel about working here? Okay. And sometimes uh, interview would tell you, at least one of them would tell you the, the real story. And based on that, you can figure out if they are unhappy here or not. So you can actually make a decision if you want to work here. So if you want some information out, you should ask every single interviewer. And based on the answers, you can make some judgment also. And in the end, it, it looks like that you are taking some interest in this company. It's just not like one way street there where they just want to they want to hire you. But you are just randomly applying places you have no interest in working here so overall i think pacing uh, interview is very important how to explain relevant info and how, when to stop uh, these three things are very important to understand the most important thing is be relaxed smile a little and show that you are human and if you're um, currently actively interviewing good luck with your interview and please share your experience or your concerns uh, if you if I miss any point I would like to know so share via comment and if you have any questions feel free to ask